Today we are exploring yet another somewhat uncommon microphone placement and I arrived at this particular experiment by being constantly underwhelmed by the kick in mic sound. Now obviously it's very common to put a microphone actually inside the bass drum, but I feel like more often than not I'm really having to work with this mic and, and EQ it and, and manipulate it heavily in order to get something that I actually like hearing from a bass drum sound. And at the end of the day I'm kind of looking for the blend of all my microphones phones to sound sort of like I'm sitting behind the drum set. And I also figured as long as we mic the toms on the batter side, why couldn't we do the same thing with the bass drum? Now, this isn't totally unheard of. Of course, I have to provide the disclaimer that I I'm not inventing any of these microphone placements. Anywhere you can put a microphone, I'm sure someone has done before, but you don't see miking the batter side of the kick that often, and I figured it might be just what I was looking for, for you know what my particular ears want to hear. Um, now, I haven't quite gotten to where I should get to, which is actually putting the bass drum mics that I'm using over on the batter side and, and getting them really close and miking them kind of in the same way you would mic a tom. Um, instead, I've done a relatively Lazy Man's version of that, and instead I've taken my Sennheiser, I believe it's the MD21, it's sort of like a precursor to the 421, it's an Omni dynamic microphone that has kind of a, uh, an old school, like nasally kind of sound, and what I've done is I've just thrown that on the floor, basically under the snare, it's not on a stand, and uh, it's just sitting on the floor facing the kick, but again, it's an Omni microphone, so that shouldn't matter too much. It's facing the kick, more or less, and my thought is, you know, maybe it'll capture some cool kind of snare bottom vibe as well. And when I started playing with it, I noticed that it was it was really kind of a similar cool sound to the uh, the worst microphone, which I also have here. I've got a, a Coles 4038 in the worst position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a little recording, and we're going to see what um, just that floor, I guess I'll call it the floor mic, uh, sounds like for capturing an entire picture of the kit, and then maybe I'll shoot that out against the worst mic and then show you what it sounds like in context with a mix. So let me know what you think about that sound. It definitely has a particular sort of nasally, like mid-rangey characteristic that um, some people like, some people may not like. But I feel like we've had sort of this resurgence of, of one microphone recordings with uh, the Yamaha EAD-10, which I know is not technically one microphone, but similar sort of thing where you, you put that basically in the worst position. I've seen a lot of people recording with, with one or two microphones these days and getting really, really cool, punchy sounds out of it. So um, let me know what you think about this method. And if you wanna do something similar, I don't think um, you necessarily need a microphone that does Omni. I think you could do a figure eight mic, but if you have something that can switch into an Omni uh, polar pattern, that would work well. But if all you have is something that's cardioid or, or you know, you got an SM57 lying around, throw that under the snare, just throw it on the floor, see what happens. Let me know the results. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.